Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to begin things off, I am going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm high, fun high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to uh, make my own creations like how the late Stan Lee was. For this footage is about a new character to introduce to you guys known as Copycat, so if you bear with me, I think you would find this individual interesting in her own right. And here it is. Copycat, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, August 2nd, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves observing a small group of scientists working in a laboratory. They successfully injected a special purple serum into the system of a pregnant cat, and after a week, the cat gave birth to an unusual purple kitten. When she developed a mind of her own in just a few days, she escaped the lab and became a homeless cat girl who found that she has the power to copy the identities of others, and she decided to call herself Copycat. Having no home, Copycat used her powers to steal food and drinks by impersonating random humans. When she gained adulthood, Copycat developed invisibility, a strong healing factor, and the power to impersonate inhuman organisms. By that point, she decided to be a spy instead of a thief. Despite all that, she still has some flaws that would blow her cover immediately. And here is a story about an example of just that. One time, Copycat decided to impersonate Ignitia as she was helping Denstrini with a mission involving Mars. However, while they were doing the mission, Copycat blew her cover by doing a loud meow, which immediately made Denstrini concerned. Copycat then fought against Denstrini until she was blasted by a broken water pipe, and the water instantly disabled her shapeshifting. Copycat, why are you impersonating my sidekick? Sorry about that, Debbie. I'm trying to go as I should when it comes to being an international spy. Well, it's not a wise option, Copycat, and here's why. And she beated Copycat up until she got blown to bits by a few shots from her trusty condemner. After she left, Copycat's remains formed each other back into place. And from that point on, she'll always think twice before taunting someone more powerful than herself. The End well, I hope you guys have some um, positivity, positivity about that storyline, and I hope you guys are enjoying my podcast and my blog and such. I'm just doing all that I can, all that I can and such. And um, and if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's all on you. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Enjoy your time in the long run. In transmission.